What is up, my hardened cum socks? You ready for spawn issue number 255? We got the battle of Satan up in this bitch. Let's go. Wanda has been running in hell for what feels like forever. And that's how hell tricks you. It makes you think there's a chance of escape when there never is. A badass demon stands over her after she trips and says, get up, you don't ever get to rest. Not if you're resisting us. He grabs her, telling her to get up. He realizes that she's becoming quite a problem. Then Wanda spits in his face, and he fucking flicks her into the goddamn ground. More demons try to stop Spawn, but Spawn just slices them apart with his necroplasm. Spawn demands that he should pass through this horde of demons, and these demons are like, Fuck this shit, we ain't messing with this guy. Then this giant lava monster rock golem thing comes out and tries to hurt Spawn, but Spawn just fucking blows his ass apart. And then the moment you've been waiting for, Satan comes out, ready to punch Spawn in the face, right? But Spawn dodges this, jumping across Satan's giant ass fist. Spawn tells Satan, you know why I'm here bring her to me and satan's like you've forgotten your place hell spawn i lord over you and your existence which is true for those of you who watched my how powerful is spawn video bro satan is fucking insane the fact that spawn is still alive right now is insane Spawn flies through the air and slices through Satan's jaw. Now Satan is hesitating slightly because Spawn has the symbiote suit on and Satan doesn't want to damage it too much, but that doesn't mean Satan will let Spawn have his way either. He could kill the human inside the suit and not damage the suit, so it doesn't really apply here too much. Satan is trying to reclaim what was his to start with. Necroplasm was his creation. The original spawn suits were his creations. Satan is fucking insane. Okay, so spawns shooting his necroplasm beams, fucking causing a giant rock boulder flying fucking explosion. Satan grows even larger, up to 800 feet tall, and Spawn says, you think that's what's gonna stop me, growing up to 800 feet tall? Is that how threatened you are by me? Oh, did you see what I did to Malbolgia? Satan stops for a moment, telling Spawn that Malbolgia was always weak. You see, Satan says that he's just testing Spawn here, but Spawn doesn't really give a shit. Spawn just wants Wanda back, so Satan's like, yes, your dead wife seems to have some value to you, so bring her out. They do, and Spawn wants to believe that this is truly her, but he knows demons are fond of deception, so he makes sure that she's not an illusion. He asks her, where's the first place we kissed, and she remembers. So Satan says, do we have a deal? You give me your symbiote suit for your wife, and uh, that's the trade. But Spawn knows as soon as he makes this trade, they will fucking kill them instantly. So Spawn says, no, the suit is mine. And Satan's like, you've just declared war. War, just like the war in Grandpa issue number one. The war between heaven and hell, the battle in the in-between realm called Eternal, the battle for God's planet Arbiter, saving these beings with various abilities and powers within it. So are you going to join this fucking journey? Are you going to actually read this fucking comic? Because you should. You know why? Because you like Spawn. You like Satan Saga Wars. You like giant hordes of demons being slaughtered by powerful characters. You like badass art. You like badass character designs. And all of this is in Grandpa Issue Number 1. It's fucking golden. Click the link in the description below to claim the first four pages of this comic for free. And around late September-ish is when the Kickstarter is going to begin. And you will be notified when it does, and you will get early access as well. So click that shit or you're a cum drinker. And that, my friends, wraps up Spawn issue number 259. Like the video if you enjoyed the video. If you didn't enjoy the video, don't be a pussy. Like the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.